I want to believe that you've been ordained as an evangelist in your church. Because if somebody like you are in my church, I will have ordained you as an evangelist. Thank you so much, sir. Even the people that are not as talented as you are in my church, they are already assistant pastor. But sir, you are flattering me, sir. Oh, I'm not flattering you. There is nothing like that in my Bible <laughs> or in my dictionary. I don't have anything like that. So, evangelist Bolu Atife. In fact, your ministration was so powerful. I was touched by the ministration. My heart was lifted. Well, all the glory be unto the Lord. For he alone enables man to bless life. Sincerely, Pastor, the auditorium was filled with the presence of the Lord. To the extent people were shedding tears. 
during the administration. That was indeed an expectation ministration unto the Lord. May the Lord bless his word. Amen. Amen. Lest I forget, okay. this is from uh, Pastor Adirinle. Oh, oh, Pastor Adirinle of Adirinle, um, yes. Grace to Our Ministry. Yes, yes. Oh, he's um, a colleague in the ministry. Okay, so, that's an invitation letter. I, 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 I am quite sure that um, you are going to enjoy that program. Wow. Um, Wally, yes, can you please check the possibility of this date for me? Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, so unfortunate. Ah, we are fixed up for that day. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Um, we are already fixed for that day. We will not be able to honor this invitation, but we already have administration ahead, even on that day. Um, anyway, I, I will tell him and um, I will as well give him your number so that um, he can communicate with you. Okay. Um, lest I forget, I would like to use this medium to tell you that you will be ministering at our convention next year. Wow, <laughs> that's serious. Next year, February. Okay. That's the time we normally do our convention. Um, what exact our date is that? Oh, third Sunday. Third Sunday of February. Yes. Well, check for yes, me this time next day. Give will be chance. That was <laughs> I could remember that we are already fixed up by his dwelling place of Tabernacle in overseas, meaning that we will not be in the country by this time next year. And the only month that is available is, um, I think, is um, Wale? Yeah, months. Okay, months available by next year. And the only month available is June, July. June, July, yes. Okay, um, that's not a problem, that's not a problem. What we are just going to do is just to shift our own convention from that February to June. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you sir. Thank so, you. Um, that June is okay by you? Yes, we are. Yes, sir. There's no problem. Um, Elder, you should just um, try to remind me at our council meeting that um, our convention has been shifted from February to June. You know, the reason why we are doing that is because of our uh, Sister Bolu at if I want her to be at that convention. Oh. So just remind me. Pastor, I think we should pray about this shifting. Pray about the shifting. Oh, Elder, Elder. This thing is just a common sense. And um, the Bible even establishes the fact in the book of Matthew 18, verse 20, that we are two or three have gathered. The Spirit of God is there with them. So the Spirit of God is here with us. We are children of God. So as we've taken the decision, Holy Spirit has agreed with us. So just remind me at the council meeting that the date has been shifted from February to June. All right, sir. Oh, sir, so we'd like to take our leave now. Yes. Before you leave, um, did you get that um, alert of the part payment? Yes, we did. Okay. Um, before you leave, um, tell the treasurer to give you the balance. Let me be like the 
Please let the children that horn this turn hot time. Let me be like the heat of the children that yeet to call red. Hello, Ali. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm sure you guys have gotten ready for the ministration. Okay. Um, I want you to meet me at the living room now. And don't be late. Alright, God bless you. Let me be like the peace of the children that hold me. Let me be. Let me be like the peace of the children that hold us and all time. Let me be like the peace of the children that is to corrections. Let me be like the peace of the children that stand away. The children that hold us and hold time. Let me be like the heat of the children that yet to corrections. Let me be like the heat of the children that stay away from sin. Let me be. Let me be. Let me be. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How was your night? Wow. Please excuse me. Hello? Good morning. Ah, oh, there is no problem about that. Yes. We are ready set for the program. Of course. 30 minutes will be enough for the administration. And um, we we'll really appreciate it if we can minister on time. And because we are having another administration in Abuja today. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. I hope you guys are gotten ready for the administration and the asking yes, yes ma'am. Good. You guys must put in nothing but your very best in today's outing. You know we don't delay your salary, all because the congregation expectation towards us is quite enormous. And besides, our promoter will also be present in this program. Oh, that's great. And he's already waiting for us downstairs. Can we move now? Yes. Uh, um, How is she doing? 
The blood pressure is 108 68 mm. Okay. While the pulse is 80 feet per minute and also the oxygen saturation is 99. Okay. Okay, let me check. Doctor, how is that condition? Who are you talking about? Bonuati Fair by name. Oh, you mean Bonuati Fair? Yes, is she responding to treatment? We've tried our best to know what exactly is the problem with her. But we could not find out what is the problem. So we are still carrying out a series of tests in order to know what exactly is happening. And where is the... I mean the man that brought her to this place. Where is the man? That man eh, actually is our boss and is our promoter as well. But we couldn't find him. He only sent us a message to call her parents. You mean the parents are not here? Yes. Please, you have to get her parents down to this place very fast. There's something I need to discuss with, with the parents. Please, you have to do that very fast. Hey, hey ah. sir, please, what's the problem? Madam, it is confidential. Oh, all right, sir, all right, sir. Hello, ma. Hello. Good afternoon. Please, who am I speaking with? Eh, uh, yes, ma. I am only by name. A friend to Bolu Watifei, your daughter. Bolu Watifei, she seriously healed. Sir. And she has been transferred to the general hospital here in Porta Court. Bolu Watifei, my daughter. Uh, the doctor insisted that you must be here. Lord, help me not to mourn over any of my children. No. No, mommy. Don't, don't be worried. She will be better. Please. How do I get the address to the place? Okay, okay. I will send the address to you. And immediately I drop the call. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. What she saying? She said she will be here. Please send the address. Uh, you the mean address, the message? Yeah. Okay, the, the address. I will do that just now. Will you want fair? Seriously, here? and transfer to a general hospital. Hello? Hello, Pastor. Yes. I just received a shocking news now from Port Harcourt. The Bulu Watifei is seriously hit. What? And she has been transferred to a general hospital in Port Harcourt. Please, this girl must not die. You know I don't have any relatives. It's okay, it's okay. She won't die in Jesus. It is well with you. The Lord will go with you. The man who called me promised to send the address to me. As soon as I get the address, I will send it to you. But I will be on my way to Port Harcourt now. Please join me in prayer. It is well. Jesus Christ. What is happening? It is well with Buluat in Jesus' name. What is the problem? Papa, I told you there is fire on the mountain. Fire? You told me the lady will die six months after this covenant renewal. And then I went into the next phase of my money boom. Yes, of course. Ah! Papa, this is the seventh month. She's still alive! Abomination! You mean she's still alive? Yes, Baba. That means the person you used eh, is a wrong person. And maybe you don't follow my instruction very well. Baba, Baba, this is not the first time I'll be renewing the covenant. <laughs> Let me remind you. You told me that I must look for a young sweeter. That whose God is about to shine. Yes. <laughs> and that's what I did. But what to face the perfect picture. She's a promising music minister. Highly talented. Baba, I have diligently and carefully followed your instructions. I have followed them carefully. Wait. Ah, are you sure you had intercourse with her? 
after taking the concussion given to you? And wait, oh, wait, wait. Eh? Did you render the incantation I gave to you? Very well. Am I smoking? Am I smoking? I told you I followed all your instructions carefully. I did. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Where is she now? Baba, she is slumped this morning and they've taken her to the hospital. <laughs> did I tell you? Tani <laughs> Bemutiose. Call her now. She ought to have died where she is now. Baba, are you sure she must have died by now? You call her. I should call her, Baba. Why? You are sure she must have died by now? Why? Baba, hey, I'm calling one of the members of the team. Hello? Yes, it's me. Uh, how is she now? Ah, 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 glory be to God. Glory be to God. Uh, thank God, thank God. Oh, oh, okay, I'll, I'll call you later. I'll call you later. All right, bye. Ah, Baba! She's not only alive, she's responding to treatment! Ah! Baba, I'm doomed! Ah! Hey, shut up! Who is doomed between both of us? Eh? Ah! Oh! There is fire burning here, my room! Ah, fire! Ah. Do you know what you have done? Eh? Eh? You brought terrible things to me! For her to be responding to treatment at this time of the day, ah, that shows that the guy must be a powerful girl. Ah, powerful. Baba, she never presented herself to me as a powerful girl now. I didn't know. How would I know? Ah, 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 ah. Baba, what can we do now? What are the way out? Quiet! What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Raymond? Do you know what you have done? You have brought death onto my doorpost. Ah, oh, Raymond, I can assure you, both of us are in great calamity. Ah, Baba, because if this guy refuses to die, someone else must die. Ah, yes. Baba, Baba, you can put your land up. Yes. Baba. Madam, how are you feeling? I hope you're responding to treatment. It's a silver mistake. Ah, ah. What do you mean? God forbid. Ah. Mistakes. What's going on? Ah. Lord Jesus. Have mercy on me. locate me in a time like this despite the fact that I disobeyed you <laughs> definitely you are a good mentor my dear daughter even our God is the God of second chance if we make a mistake and we recognize our mistakes and we are ready to come back he is always ready to receive us it is well with you. Uh, but, Buluatife, what are you doing here? I mean, what, what's the matter? What is wrong? Sincerely, Daddy, I don't really know what is happening to me. But it's as if I've missed it.
It's as if I've used my hands <laughs> to squeeze my destiny. <laughs> and in ignorance, I chew it into a ocean. <laughs> Can it be found again? <laughs> could bring out an axe from the river. <laughs> it can surely put together the pieces of your life again. It can restore you. <laughs> it is well. And it will do it in Jesus' name. Oh, you're welcome. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Who are you to ask, sir? Yes, I, I'm a pastor and this is my wife. Oh, really? You are welcome, sir. Uh, doctor, please, don't, what is wrong with that, doctor? Sir, but uh, nothing much. There is no problem. But let's go to my office, then we'll discuss better, sir. It's okay. Yes, uh, doctor. Yes, sir. Please, uh, what's the matter with her? Sir, with a series of tests carried out on her, we detected that she is six weeks here pregnant. Jesus Christ! Please, doctor. Please, uh, there must be a mistake somewhere. Please, please come again. Sir, I said six weeks pregnant. Who knew what it is? Yes. six weeks pregnant. Exactly, sir. She's slumped. Due to the stress and the pregnancy. Meanwhile, her issue is beyond medical attention. Because throughout the night, she was just screaming. That's okay, doctor. So, so, so what do we do now? Mm. Sir, so the best thing to do now is to, to, to discharge her. Hmm. I've gone faster than my maker. <sighs> my life is in great danger. Buluati fair. Ah! I never knew that she was a powerful lady. Hmm. This is a journey of panic and regret. And I know, I will have waited for my time. Baba Fashanu is dead. Hey, I don't know what will happen to me now. My dear, it's over five hours ago you came back from Portacourt. It has been long I sat at the table, but you refused to wait. What is the matter? My dear, talk to me. I'm your wife. I will definitely explain everything to you. But I would like to be alone for now. Please let me be. Okay. I've heard you. Talk to me. Talk to 
comprehend what happened. All I knew was that I found myself in the hospital. This was what happened a night before the incident. And you'll be coming to my room, facing the wall and talking to yourself. What are you saying? You are the You always want to know everything. Nearby, it's none of your business. I'm tired of this sexual intercourse occurring between both of us for the past six months. You deflowered me the second night I came to Port Harcourt. <laughs> what are you insinuating? What are you insinuating? Thank God there's nothing like pregnancy in the whole affair. Oh. At least your ministry is expanding. Oh, please spare me the sermon tonight. Everything has been explained to you before. What if Can you see what the enemy of your soul has done to your life? You, you permitted that man that called himself your promoter to deprive you of your virginity. It's very unfortunate. Now, this man, where is he? 
Who is it? Sir, after that incident, we received a call from the wife that he lost his life. Oh! Hmm. You see, when I was praying for you last night, the Lord made me to understand that that man that called himself your promoter, that man wanted to use you for money ritual. Ah! And if not for divine intervention and for the fervent prayers of children of God, you would have been dead by now. Because you see, it was necessary for somebody to die before the morning ritual is perfected. And if he hadn't died, you would have died. Lord Jesus! <laughs> mercy, Lord! <laughs> I need more mercy for restoration. <laughs> Oh, Daddy, where is my mother? She hoped to have been here because she solidly supported me to go to Port Harcourt. Uluwatife, you look so worried. What is happening? Mommy, mm -hmm. you know I've been in support of this family and I've been taking care of my younger ones since the time I went to Port Harcourt. It's also what you know. They have been trying to change this apartment for a better one. But the only thing that makes me sad each day is because my pastor is not in support of my mission in further court. And whenever I think of this, I'm always sad within me. Will you want to find my daughter? What we need is the support of God rather than the support of man. And this man in question, I mean your promoter, is a Christian and you're going to Portaco was an opportunity, which I thank God we did not miss. Ever since the death of your father, I've been the only one taking care of you and your younger sister. But now, things have changed. You now send money home. Even to take care of myself mm -hmm. and your younger ones. My prayer is that may the Lord continue to help you. Amen. And help you. Amen. So that you can do more. Amen. And more for me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> You put smile on my face again. Thank mm. you so much. You're welcome, my daughter. Um, I expected her to be in Porta Court. Uh, uh, look, Bolu Atife, yeah, uh, don't bother about your mom. Um, uh, everything is under control. Probably you are keeping from her what has happened to me. <laughs> so that she will not be disturbed emotionally. <laughs> but I need to see my mother. I want to see her. Uh, look, look, uh, Bolu Atife. I have told you, don't bother about your mom. Everything is under control. But look, I told you not to go to Portaco. I told you to be patient. I did everything. I did everything so that you wouldn't go astray. I even told you the parable of the pot and the potter. I did everything. But you wouldn't just listen to me. Ah. Ah. The pot and the porter. You told me. Ah. Have I not ruined my life now? Oh. Ah! 
That's all right. Just take it easy. Everything will be all right. You know what? I will not want you to bury your future in your past failures, okay? I know God will perfect everything that He wants you in Jesus' name. <coughs> Mommy, I would have to take my leave now. Oh, you want to be going? Yes. Oh, well, thank you very much. I pray the Lord will restore each and every one of you in Jesus' name. Thank you. You're welcome. That's all right. That's all right. Let me put the answer in the kitchen. Okay? And back. Five years ago, she came to me that the Lord led her to submit herself as a disciple at my feet. And I agreed after prayers and confirmation. She has been doing fine among the quarry staffs in the church. The Lord promised to use her as a great evangelist for this nation and his mouthpiece at this end time. I haven't known all these vision and promises. I have been counseling her that any man who will be great in the hands of the Lord must understand the time like the children of Issachar. The whole thing started on the day she came back from administration where administration drew so many people to the Lord. No, it is absolutely wrong and I won't be a party to it. Abba! You bumped into a stranger for the first time, the very first time, and you concur that he should take you to studio. The Bible says we should get the facts and hold on to the truth. Look, I quite agree that the grace of God is upon you and the Lord wants to use you mightily, but we have to be very careful. You have just finished your ordinary national diploma and this is the time you should be using for your industrial training. Look, your future is at stake. Your life is at stake. Your education is at stake. And we cannot afford to take any hasty decision so that we won't make a mistake. Look, my daughter, you have to give me some time to pray about this so as to seek the face of the Lord so that we will know the direction to take. Daddy, you don't seem to get the comprehensibility of this matter. This man in question is not requesting any money from me. Neither am I the one that suggested this to him. Daddy, this man saw me with other choristers in the church ministry and he delighted in my talent. Daddy, this is a great opportunity and I don't want to miss it. Look, my dear daughter, I want you to understand my position. I want you to succeed in life. In fact, your success is my joy. But I don't want us to take any hasty decision that will affect your future. I want you to know that the devil is like a roaring lion. He's going around seeking whom to devour. Look, and I beg you, I don't want you to be a prey to the devil. Let us take it easy. I don't want us to take any hasty decision. This opportunity is a great one. I don't want to miss it, Daddy. I don't want to miss it. Hmm. Impatience is one of the most powerful weapons. The devil is using against the children of God today. And the only language is now. 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 When God is saying later, be patient. Take it easy. Ah. Ah! <sighs> 
And Daddy told me about the pot and the porter. Hmm. He told me, but I wouldn't listen. Now, the baby in her womb is fatherless. Her mother is dead. And she has abandoned her education. Her life has been scattered just as it happened to the pot in the ends of the pot. Me to make a need. Towards this spot. You've been laboring all days for the perfection of this spot. I can remember you've been sending your servants on errands for the perfection of this same pot. I am very sure, Father, you have an hidden intention towards this spot. Can you please disclose this intention to me? My daughter. Yes, father. You want to know my intention? Yes, father. My servant, I want you to go and prepare for the next stage of making for this pot. Because any moment from now, I will be through with this stage. Father, I am very sure this pot must have been very important to you. I told you earlier, you've been sending your servants on errands every day. Father, I desire to know your intention. I want to know your intention. Daughter. Yes, Father. You desire to know my intention? Yes. Hmm. Anytime I want to present a pot to generation, any time I want a pot to be my representative, the first thing to be done is making. Making? Yes, daughter. Mm. I want this pot. This very pot. I want this pot to serve kings and chiefs. Mm. I want this pot to be my ambassador. Mm. I want this pot to be my speaker. Wow! <laughs> a pot serving generation? What a splendid intention! Ah. Let me give you a surprising news. Okay. Do you know you are this pot? You are the one I've been laboring all this while. Ah! <laughs> so I am this pot? Hmm. I have been the one you've been laboring on? Hmm. Ah! You want to use me to serve the kings and the chiefs? That is my intention. Ah! Thank you, Father. Thank you. Ah! Ah, such a wonderful box. Ah. 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 Daughter. Yes, father. What are you trying to do? You are trying to undo your life by yourself? Ah. Any attempt to do so, such a life will be totally destroyed. Will you permit me to undo your life for you? Yes, father. You have devoted your time for me. Thank you, Father. Hmm. Oh. Daughter. Yes, Father. Jeremiah 18, from 1 to 6, talks about pot and the porter. Don't forget your cooperation with me. 
will enable me to bring the best out of your life. Oh, thank you. Master, we are set for the next stage of your port. And here are the seats requested for the next stage of your port. Hmm. These seeds are very important for the generation mm. and very precious to me. Mm. But, yes, father. My beloved. Yes, father. My daughter. Yes, father. Let's move to the next stage. Oh. Oh. Don't forget, you are the pot. Mm. I am the porter. Mm. To make a name. me, Lord, to touch lives out there. Use me for my generation. Use me, Lord, to touch lives out there. People are perishing. Daughter. Yes, Father. This seat is called an exalted seat. A seat of waiting. A seat of preparation. Any man who is found faithful during the period of his waiting, such man will be exalted. Because no waiting, no manifestation, a lot of thought. We are unable to be completed during their waiting period. They launch themselves out and they abuse the purpose of their formation. Daughter, those that wait upon the Lord, their power shall be renewed. For every vessel, waiting comes before their manifestation. And don't forget, that generation are earnestly waiting for your manifestation. Ah, thank you, Father. So generations are waiting for my manifestation? Of course. Ah, then let me quickly go and serve them. Daughter. Yes, Father. You cannot serve them now. But why? Because you have no information on what your generations are waiting for. Any point. Who goes out to its generation without the necessary information? Such a part will be deformed. Daughter, do you want to be deformed? No, sir. I don't want to be deformed. I will patiently wait to complete my waiting period. Then, you must patiently wait. Don't forget, daughter. I am the one who announced your making. I announced your exalted seat. Daughter. Yes, father. I must be the one to announce your manifestation. Patiently wait. Wait for appropriate time so that I can announce your manifestation. Job 14 verse 14 If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. I will pour in you the seed for the generation. Ah, thank you, Father. Thank you. Ah, ah, thank you, Father. Daughter, you are carrying what generation are waiting for. Ah, thank you, Father. Father, thank you. Oh, Father, I promise to wait till you announce me to the generation. Thank you. But Father, what about him? That is mercy. He will stay with you. He will make it possible for you to fulfill the period of your waiting. He signifies my token of love for you. Thank you, Father. Oh, I promise you, I will wait to complete my waiting period. 
I'll be patient. I will wait here until you announce me to the generation. Ah. What am I looking at? A pot? Oh no, it's not a seed. Ha! This must be a glorious destiny. Another but two hearts in the hand of the Most High. A new threshing instrument with it to thresh my kingdom into pieces. I promised my father. I told him I would not leave the seat until he announces me himself. No. This council will not be established. But you will not stand. Hello, Pot. You are looking so glorious and wonderful. Thank you. You are even mercifully blessed. I am actually passing by. Before my attention was gained by something sparkling like gold. And I thought in my heart, I can't just pass by without seeing hello. I just must turn aside and see this great sight. Shiny like gold. How are you doing? I'm fine. Who are you and how did you know my name? <laughs> well, but I am an indispensable master. Really? Yes, with several pots in my possession and under my care. Well, I am also honored with different names by those who valued me. Some call me the excellent master. The excellent master. Some, the great instructor. Great instructor. And some prefer to call me the wise master. The wise master. Yes. Uh, remember, happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. For the proceed is far better than the profit of sliver and the gains than fine gold. <laughs> that is Proverbs 3, 13 and 14. <laughs> uh, but, please, if I may ask, I'm just wondering, what can a beautiful pot like you could be doing in this quiet, boring, and just this seat of yours. How do you call it an ordinary seat? It is not an ordinary seat or a common seat. It is called an exalted seat. A seat of waiting. A place of preparation. A seat of beautification and glory. It is a very special seat. It is not an ordinary seat. Wow. 
What a brilliant response. <sighs> what a brilliant response. This shows that you have the in-depth knowledge of the mystery behind this place and of this exotic of yours. Hmm. Now, I commend your knowledge because knowledge is power. Thank you. <laughs> ah, please, but permit me to be a little bit inquisitive about you. You know, I'm just wondering, uh, for how long have you been on this seat? I am not comfortable with all these three questions. And I'm beginning to suspect you. Uh-uh. Suspect? Don't get me wrong. Oh, proverb 13 verse 20 says, He that walk with the wise men shall be wise, but a company of fools shall be destroyed. Proverb 23 verse 23 also said, Buy the truth and sell it not. And wisdom, knowledge and instructions. Even Proverb 24 verse 4 also said, Okay, now I know what you are saying. You want us to be friends? Yes, and to be of help. <laughs> come on, tell me, how long have you been on this seat? Mm, I've been on this seat for many years. What? Many years? Is there anything wrong in that? Everything is wrong with that. Ah, uh -uh. many years? Doing what? My master told me that there is no greatness without little beginning. He said I still need to be more equipped, more furnished, in fact, more beautified, so that he can announce me to my generation. Ah, uh, furnished, ah, uh, purified, ah, uh, you are beautiful enough, ah, uh, you are furnished enough. Uh, I just told you, I saw something glittering like gold. You are the gold. But. This gift I'm seeing is enough for you. Have you to read Psalm 18 verse 16? It says, The gift of a man, make it room for him and bring him before the kings and the chiefs. Which are your generation? Oh, did your master inform you that there are generations waiting for you? Ah, then you should have been on the ground manifesting, serving your generation. No, I will take that. It is not yet time for my manifestation. Oh, but listen to counsel and receive instruction so that you may be wise in your latter days. This is what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is not obvious. Okay, again, Psalm 24, verse 1. He says, The heart is of the Lord, which is the ground, and the fullness thereof, and they that dwell therein. Listen, Paul, you can as well be purified, furnished, as well as manifested on the ground. Yes, just give it a trial. I'm assuring you, you will experience something new. Are you sure? I am positive about that. Just give it a trial. Indeed, I want to serve my generations. I think I should give it a try. <laughs> oh, you have just made the best and perfect decision. Ah, what a beautiful pot. But why is it? You have to handle me with care. Oh, just as my master usually does. You don't have to bother me about that. I am a excellent master. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so beautiful. Thank you. I love beautiful things. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> wow. Frankly speaking, there's nothing to be furnished again. Hmm. A perfect work. Thank you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Follow me. Daughter, your father has made everything beautiful in his time. Don't go now 
I want to give it a try. <laughs> That's all. I'll follow you. No, you don't need to bother yourself. Don't worry. I'll go with you. It's all right. I don't think that would cost us anything. Not at all. So far, you are manifesting. It's all right. Let us go. Let's go. <clears throat> How do you feel? Ah, I see reality. Ah, I sense freedom. It is precious enough. Voice master, I cannot serve the kings. I can serve the chiefs. I am now a solution to my generation. Ah, thank That's you very much. You are welcome. Thank you. You told me I will experience a new thing. And that is what you have been missing. Mm -hmm. It is precious enough wide enough for your liberty this can only come from the wise master who is wonderful in counsel and excellent in guidance that means i am very very lucky to have you very lucky i hope i have now been considered as a very good friend of you very good friend and i will be welcome at any point the door is open wise master you are welcome <laughs> <laughs> that is my point. I do like to take my leave now. Please do. Thank you. Ah, thank you so much. Ah, thank you. Ah, so spacious. Ah. <laughs> he came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. All this the devil did to me. <laughs> he used one of his greatest instruments. Impatience. To obstruct the plans of God for my life. Now, I'm at the valley of regrets. And the only thing that caused this is nothing but impatience. Ah! And daddy told me then that anyone who wants to become great in the hands of his maker must diligently and patiently wait without allowing distraction. But no! I told a deaf ear to his counsel. I continue celebrating outside my master's plan. Ah! My life resembles that of the pots. Hmm. I cannot serve the kings, serve the chiefs. I am now very, very free. So, I have been wasting my time on the exalted thing. Hmm. Ah, when my master comes back, I will inform him of my total freedom and liberty. Ah, thank you, wise master. Ah, hmm. ah, thank you, father. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. I will make sure I serve the king. I serve the king. I serve my generation. Ah, my pot. Ah, oh, father, what are you doing on the ground? I'm trying to manifest. Manifest? Who announced your manifestation? Um, the wise master did. Wise one? Yes, father. He said I could manifest on the ground. Who is wise? Aside from the one who formed you from the clay, yes, who is wise? Aside from the one. Who placed you on an insulted seat? Oh. Who is wise? Aside from the one who promised to use you and to present you to the generation. 
daughter. Oh, yes, father. Haven't I told you that no waiting, no manifestation, that your waiting period will determine your manifestation. Oh. But I told you that if you appear before your time, you will definitely finish before your finishing time. I am sorry, father. He told me that is the wise one. Daughter, oh. <laughs> why were you so simple to be deceived? He's not a wise one, but a deceiver. Oh. 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 And by now, you ought to be presented to the generation. Oh. 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 Father. Please, please, Father, have mercy. Please pardon me. <laughs> Father, please, present me. We don't present on the ground. Ah. We can only present on the seat. Ah. Every presentation always takes place from the seat, not on the ground. Ah. <laughs> you are nothing but a disappointment, beloved. But I told you, though, you have missed it already. Oh. You have stained already. Oh. But my mercy is still speaking for you. Oh. I will take you back to the assorted seat. Oh. Thank you, that shows that you will need to start all over. Oh. <laughs> and your day of your announcement shall be postponed. What kind of tender mercy is this? I have never seen this kind of mercy before. <laughs> Except from this great God. He <laughs> will always bring back his love and he chooses his devil with his merciful hands. He has extended his merciful hand to restore this useless spot back to the exalted seat. <laughs> so I was deceived. <sighs> Don't need to lose hope for this world. For this world. That we might fulfill this purpose. This expectation shall be cut off. But I am very positive. I will ensure you frustrate your master's plan and message. You on the ground. What are you doing on the seat again? No! You deceived me. You deceiver. You lied to me. You told me I could manifest on the ground. My master was as noisy with me. When he met me on the ground. And not only that, he also postponed the days of my manifestation. I don't need your assistance again. Please leave me alone. What? Are you liking me to the scriptures that says all men are liars? I'm not a man. I'm a master. And all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. Nothing crook or perverse is in there. I would only like in my situation as the case of uh, as the case of David. <laughs> if someone will never stop. He said, in return for my love, I am a gift. And the reward 
of my good is evil and hatred for my love. Indeed, I know how disappointed a master can be when his servant disobeys. Likewise, how painful the heart of every servant can be when he or she receives discipline from the master. For what? How will you understand that I am trying to help you? Help? Help my son. Oh. But, this is me. Pay attention to me. The method your master is using is so longer relevant in this generation. The method is old. What? I have tried it years back. It's no longer working. I tag it a total waste of time, purpose, and destiny. But you are reminding me of a precious servant. My beloved servant that I love so much. A servant I care for. A servant that I wanted him to become the best for his generation. So, I labored day and night. I kept my servant indoor for many years, thinking he was not matured enough for manifestation. Ha <sighs> ha. Just few more days. Few more days for me to launch my pot out. Ha. Ha. What happened? I found another pot. Ha. I found another servant. In the rightful position. Made for my servant. Ha. I render my servant irrelevant and useless for his generation. I allowed his posterity to be cut off, even his name to be blotted out, even in the coming generation. And it wasn't his fault, it was my fault as a master. <laughs> They are the virtues, the sins Baba planted in me. Eh? You call these thinking these virtues? I can't perceive anything. You can't perceive anything because you are not a master. Just thinking. Ah. This is what I've been telling you. You have spent too much time on these seats. Ah. Why did you allow the cause in the scripture in Isaiah 3 verse 24 to come to pass in your life? He says that it shall come to pass. That instead of sweet smell, it shall be stink. Oh, oh. I don't even think I can stay here any longer. Oh, I went back up, please, please. You can leave me as such time. If you pay attention to me right now. No king, no prince, not even a fool. We allow you to come near them, not to talk of serving them. Oh, oh. I think I have to step down. Oh, oh, oh. Where's my sir, please? Don't leave me at such time as this. Please, please don't leave me. Even if at this point your old master should step in, he will step out. Ah, oh, oh, please. In I fact, know. I am ready. Instruct me. I will comply to your terms and conditions. Please. Daughter, why do you want to frustrate the plans of the master? I need an audience help. And I can't afford to miss this opportunity. Voice Master, please attend to me. How we only remove those thinking things on the ground. Again? <laughs> All right, agreed. I am ready. I want to serve my generation. I want to serve the kings and the chiefs, please. Please help me. <sighs> Oh. Oh. oh, please, undo me with care. Please. Oh, to Jacob, 
it was the sweet smell that came out of his body made his father to bless him. But unto you, horrible oh. Oh. Master, I feel refreshed. Book of Proverbs 24 by 6. It says, By wise counsel, you will wage your own war. And in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Follow me and obtain your safety. No, 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 no,
mercy. We cannot continue with this sport again. And we shall wait to see where your impatience is taking you. No, 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 no
I often wonder if truly churches received rightly from God as they claim to before inviting any minister to their churches. If not, God would not have allowed them and God would not have directed them to invite me to minister to their congregation because I have been joining all this while alone. I have been involved into the ministry that my maker did not send me. What a wasted time and energy. <laughs> this is my life. Now, indeed I've been experiencing great things. I am doing very well. I mean manifesting on the ground. Ha! Ah. My beloved. Wise Master, you walk on. But you look so scary. Why are you in this attire? You mean my attire? Yes. This is my best attire. And I always put it on anytime I want to accomplish a mission. Yes. Yes. Don't you like it? Oh, anyway, so far you said it's your best attire. It's okay by me. Hmm, like I said, I have been doing very great on the ground. In fact, exceedingly great on the ground. I've been manifesting, serving the kings, serving the chiefs. In fact, I've been experiencing new things. Oh, thank you. Indeed. Ah, you stepped on me. I want to believe that was a mistake. You have found with me again. Keep quiet. What is master? We are not only quarreling, we are small. Ah, you can say this, Ami me. I am the great Lucifer, the bright morning star. How dare you fall? Don't place on the edge of Tessie. My master! My master! Is it that I was once placed and I lost? I was cast to the girl and became a wanderer. I only proposed in my heart that we exalt my throne above the thrones of God, that I will rule in the midst of the stars, that I will run the assemblies of the angels. But suddenly, I was cast to the girl and became a wanderer. Ever since, I determine that every destiny that is placed on the exalted sea, I will cast to the gods and become a wanderer. But every destiny I cannot kill. I steal. And every destiny that I steal. I destroy, but I see. Oh. it is your time to be destroyed.
wasted effort. You are good for nothing. You frustrated your waiting period. You frustrated the effort of your master. You frustrated the mercy and the grace of God over your life. You are good for nothing. But I told you before that if you go before your time, you will definitely finish. You are already finished. We need to prepare your replacement. You shall be replaced. on me. <laughs> oh, yes, Father. Oh. Any man who is not patient with the matter of his life, a man who feels he's capable without his father's assistance, such people always come back Injured, battered, and broken. Oh. My daughter. <laughs> yes, father. <laughs> what is this on the ground? Oh. A broken pot. <laughs> Just as my life. <laughs> a 
broken pot. It's brother. <laughs> this is what I can still do to any scattered life who surrenders all to me. Oh. Father. Crack. Daughter. His father. It has. His car can never be like the flesh. Often time. I leave it like that. Just to serve as a reminder to all my children, which can easily bring them back whenever they are going astray. Father. Please, I need your mercy. Please help me. Mercy will be available for you again whenever I place you back on an exalted seat. Treated the porter's efforts on her. Lord, this is my life. Ah, have mercy on me. Bolo, you mean you are still crying? Bolo, I thought you should be sleeping by now. For how long will you continue to be crying? But I've told you, don't bury your future with your past failures. By the way, I expected you to have come to the table. Mommy. Yes? I couldn't sleep, neither can I eat. Why? I just want to see that. Daddy? Yes. Is that all you need? Yes, I want to see him. Okay. Let me go in and call him. Daddy, please, I'm sorry for all my hearts of disobedience. I'm very sorry for disobeying and disappointing you. My dear daughter, disappointing me is not the most painful thing to me. The most painful thing to me is that you allowed the devil, the enemy of your soul, to truncate the plan and good intentions the Lord has for you. Please sit down. My dear daughter, children of God, 
who disobediently vacate the place the Lord has located them. We end up being non entities in the plan of God. Such children of God will end their life in shame, agony, and unhappiness. My dear daughter, as many who cannot wait for the plan and covenant of God to come to pass in their lives, will surely be rewarded with gnashing of the teeth by the devil. Look, as many as are ready to appear before their time, will surely finish before their finishing time. But those who are ready to come back to their maker, despite all the damages they may have gone through, you see, the Lord is ready to receive them. The Lord is ready to remold their lives. The Lord is ready to put back all the broken pieces together again. My dear daughter, the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 14 makes us to understand that when God saw that the children of Israel were scattered, He promised that He would gather them together again. If you are ready to fall down before your maker, if you are ready to fall at His feet and ask for forgiveness and genuinely repent of your sins. The Lord is ready. The Lord is ready to put back all the broken pieces together. The master potter is ready to remove your life. He's ready to put you back again. <sighs> you see, we the children of God we are the pot, while God Almighty is the potter and the devil. The devil is the deceiver and the main intention of the devil is to make sure that the lives of the children of God are scattered and disorganized. Just as he was driven out from heaven, along with the fallen angels, and is going around in a disorganized way looking for whom to devour. It is his desire to make sure that the lives of children of God are disorganized, are scattered, and broken to pieces. Isaiah chapter 1 verses 18 to 19 says, Come now, let us reason together, said the Lord. Do your sins will be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Hulu. I remember when I was going astray making decision. My husband told me the same story that he narrated to you about the beloved. And I surrendered myself and the Lord ordered my steps. All you need to do is to release yourself totally 
and he will remold you and direct your footsteps. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I plead for mercy at thy feet. Please forgive me and have mercy on me. Do. My mother encouraged me to go to Port Harcourt in order to meet her needs and that of my younger ones. I should have taken my stand to let her know the truth that I've been told. Daddy, where is my mom? Hello? Am I speaking with Mr. Raymond Afolayo? Please, who's on the line? I'm his wife. My name is Mrs. Richard, calling from Nigerian Petroleum Corporation. Your husband attended an interview in our company four months ago, and I'm well pleased to inform you that the management have decided to grant his appointment as the customer satisfaction manager. Accept my congratulations. Well, <laughs> we just lost him three days ago. Ah, madam! to family. Accept my condolence. What's a life? <laughs> this man was not worth patient for his appointed time. <laughs> After so many years of job searching. I don't know if you'd like. <laughs> See what carelessness has brought to me. <laughs> because of my carelessness, <laughs> I've been enjoying the world I do not know its source. <laughs> I only know my husband is working. <laughs> but what is doing precisely? I do not know. <laughs> my lackadaisical <like a> attitude. <laughs> My goods to be booty <laughs> and my house a desolate. <laughs> Lord, my life is scattered <laughs> in my house a desolate. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> My life is scattered. Please scatter me. Where are you? Will you watch it? When your mother heard about the incident. That happened to you. She decided to come over to Potako to visit you. And um, she boarded the bus going to Potako. And um, according to the reports, she arrived in Potako safely. Hmm. So, what happened? My dear daughter, it was a very, very terrible day. Yes, come in. Yeah, well done, yeah welcome. Yeah. There is a man here to see you. Okay, who is what's the person? He is actually a police officer. A police officer? Yeah. Okay, let him in. Let's 
Ахница. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, officer. I'm Detective Edwin from Umukoro Police Station. Okay, how, how may I help you? I came to see Dr. Desmond. Dr. Desmond? Oh, there's no problem. Uh, not at all. I came to deliver a message. Okay, um, I'm the Dr. Desmond. Actually, I'm here in respect of a young lady. Her name is Bolu Atife Atisoya. Bolu Atife? Yes. Bolu Atife is in our custody. Receiving treatments. Well, Enix came to our notice that the vehicle Bolu Atife's mother took while coming to visit her daughter here had a ghastly accident. Jesus Christ! Yes. Everybody in the vehicle sustained injury, but it's a pity that Bolu Atife's mother gave up the ghost. Few minutes she have been taken to hospital. What? So you mean Bolu Atife's mother is dead? This is news. This is terrible. But the corpse of the woman is at Mainland Hospital, situated at number 14 Skyland Street, Baltimore. Well, I would like to take my leave, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day, sir. Yeah. Bye. Oh, Jesus. This is a very, very sad day. A father, <laughs> my education is at stake, <laughs> and I don't know what will happen to my marital life. <laughs> no, I'm still living, but I'm scattered. <laughs> 